What is up guys, it's Battleboy Figs, aka Jack, and we are back here with a yet yet again another episode of Fig Hauls. And today we are going to be opening up something I've been wanting for a while, something I've been looking for for a while. And thankfully it had dropped on Amazon. And I'm gonna oh my god, I'm terrible. I'm gonna uh get right into this here. So we're gonna cut right here. There on this side. So yeah, this dropped on Amazon for retail price, and I was really... Well, actually, I, I'm acting like it's a secret, even though it's in the title. Uh, the Supreme Cody Rhodes figure dropped on Amazon for retail price at $42. And yeah, and then I picked it up, and I've been wanting this figure for a while. I love, you know, figures and stuff. Wow, this box is way bigger than I thought. Whoa, okay, wow. I wasn't expecting this to be this big. Um... Let me back this up here. Wow, this is literally why they call it a supreme figure, guys. Wow, I don't even know what to say. This is huge. This looks incredible. Unrivaled Supreme Collection. There is Cody Rhodes. Oh my god, wow. This box is incredible, guys. Look at that. Yeah, this is way bigger in person. Look at that. All detail on the side. So yeah, guys, we're going to crack right into this and review for you guys. We have uh, Cody Rhodes around right the front, 12 pieces. Uh, Supreme Collection in the foil on the, on the excuse me, on the sides here we have the arms we got uh, the alter uh, alternate gear uh, we got uh, right at the bottom we got number one series one Cody because of the Supreme Collection and then we got uh, Supreme in gold we got the Cody Rhodes signature with that portrait of Cody this is from Dynamite Grand Slam and then we got uh, both the weight belts the head scans it comes with the fists um and the Cody Rhodes t-shirt. I actually have some uh, other Cody's here we're gonna use. We're gonna like uh, mix and match here and see what we can do. Uh, we got the Unrivaled 4 and then the uh, Unrivaled 1 here. So yeah, let's get right into Supreme Cody. Okay guys, I literally had to stop the time lapse right there for a second because I could not figure out how to open this damn thing. Oh my god, that was literally a struggle. You can't have, you can't keep this box nice. I will tell you that right now. There is no keeping this box nice. Literally, I had to literally like, oh my god, that was, that was so unnecessarily hard um, to open. Alright, so we got Cody here. Oh man, this looks awesome. Wait, hold on, let me, there's your arms down here. Man, the entrance gear. Oh wow, this is this was definitely well worth uh, your $42, guys. You get, you know, um, you get entrance gear, interchangeable arms. You get two attires. I mean, I, I'm really, I, I kind of want the Walmart one, too, for that uh, blue silver gear. And then, look, you got this uh, awesome red and gold gear here. If it's even going to let you know, let me get it out here. All right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. I just whacked them. All right. All right. So, we got that. And then, we got... Uh, of course, we got the normal arms. I'll pop those out. Um, I'm really curious to see how Jazzverse figures are with the um, butterfly joints. I haven't had a Jazzverse figure or butterfly joint set. Oh, we gotta unclip the weight belts here to get them out. Let's grab these out of here. Two weight belts, guys. That's awesome. I've never used the weight belts. I gotta start using them. And we got the. We got even got a microphone. Can never have too many AW microphones. The amount of microphones I have from AEW is actually insane. I can't get this Cody head out. Okay, wait, hold on. Got one out. Oh my god, that thing got launched. Alright, let's get rid of this shit. Um, sorry. Okay, and then I'm gonna literally... Oh my god. There's the other head scan. We're gonna throw this to the side. Alright guys, uh, let me get this stuff organized so I can go through it. Alright guys, so going through all of this... So, obviously, we have the Cody figure itself. Um, I'm really excited to see how this... Oh, wow, look at that. American Nightmare logo on the back. I'm really, really excited to see how this looks with butterfly joints. And, guys, this is... I just realized this is right. Um, Someone made a little article or, like, a post about this. Why did I say article? Um, that the neck tattoo, it, like... Look here, I'll show you. If uh, my camera... Focus, look at it. It's not filled in they didn't fill in the white on this which really sucks but it's all right all right butterfly joints guys oh wow this is uh 
This is really loose, which is not a good sign, but I'm sure it'll be all right. We're gonna connect these. Okay, yeah, guys, look at that. That's that is not a good sign. Maybe I'll be able to throw a rubber band in there or something. I don't really know how to not make butterfly joints loose. But that's probably not good. Because this is like, look, you could... That's not good at all. But, um... Yeah, I mean, for this most part, this Cody attire looks really good. And then we're going to pop this head on there. Yeah, look at that. Why does the neck feel really big? Alright, guys, there you go. This is Supreme Cody. This looks awesome. Um, and then I'm going to see, so you could obviously torso swap it. All right. Then we're going to pop it onto, wow, God, I'm a big fan of this gear. I like the gold and red combo we get here. This looks awesome. Go to the camera. And we got toe pivot on this, guys. American Nightmare logos on the boots. This gold and red gear looks fantastic, dude. And then we got the, um, the weight belt here, um. And we got this awesome t-shirt, by the way. Let me show this. Really big fan of this t-shirt. I also have the Weekend Rival 4 here, our BB Intercontinental Champion, the Thronebreaker shirt. Let's um let's uh let's do a little bit of mix and matching. Let's test some things out. Let's see. Alright, so we got Yeah, so wait, uh if you guys can see here, the torso doesn't really line up with this, but I mean it's alright, but for the most part, this looks pretty good. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this head scan. Neither of these head scans, actually. I'm going to put this one on there. This um, Rival 4 head scan is amazing, guys. Um, Let's see how it pops on there. This is weird. Okay, I got it on there. Uh, he, oh, God, now he has no neck, dude. Okay, that's... Uh, dude, what? Um, Yeah, guys, that probably doesn't look good. He literally has, like, no neck. What I mean is... I mean, it's all right. Hold on. Let's see the, like, let's compare these Cody head scans. Yeah, I don't know. He looks a lot younger in this head scan. I don't know. Oh, my God. I shook the table. He looks a lot younger in this, um, the Supreme head scan. The, well, it's different. Yeah, they're a little different. Hmm. Maybe it's just me, but I don't know. I feel like they look different. Uh, here's the other one. We just got, like, a... You know, your generic face, but... I don't know, I really like the Unrivaled 4 scan. Uh, it also came with the screaming head. Oh, uh, we got this one. This is good if you're about to hit a crossroads. Sorry if I keep shaking the camera. Um, let's see if we can pop it on there. Wow, dude, oh my god. I, I know I'm already gonna have a hard time with this figure, but... For the most part, like, it looks amazing, so... Here we go. Oh, look at that. That looks good. I like that. That looks awesome. The uh, unmatched one looks really good, though. And here, guys, here's the... Uh, with that red gear, we have the uh, Rival 4 here. Where's the head scan at? Oh, my God. I keep grabbing the wrong one here. Oh, this looks... Okay, this looks really nice. Um, If I could pop the damn head on there. Um, okay, it just doesn't want to work with me. All right, there we go. Um, Yeah, guys, uh, this looks great. Uh... I bet these gears go really good with the Intercontinental title. Uh, if you guys can't see here, this uh, Supreme Cody is a little taller than the Unrivaled 4. Well, here, let's uh, let's put the right torsos on the right. Oh my god, do you hear the squeak of that thing? So, here's the Supreme Cody. And then here is your Unrivaled 4 Cody. Why does it squeak so much? It's a little taller in comparison, but I mean, that's fine. Uh, I don't really get too bothered by the heights, unless it's outrageous, like the John Moxley figure. Um, yeah, I mean, for the most part, the figure looks great. Um, definitely need to fix this. This is a little loose, but I'm sure once I start playing with it and getting the hang of it, um, it'll be good to pose for, like, you know, your Cody cutter. Um, like, if you're going for the Cody cutter, and then if you're going for the crossroads... Uh, I'm sure it'll be all right. But yeah, guys, for the most part. And then we got, um, you know, your regular uh, non-pinless um, elbows. Yeah, wait, actually, I have one more gear. I want to see how this looks on for Cody. All right, yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Oh, yeah, this looks good. This looks really good. Um, 
Yeah, guys, this was the uh, AEW Supreme one, the first ever Supreme collection. Um, Cody Rhodes figure. Um, this is one of I, I'm sure this is gonna be one of Cody Rhodes' last uh, Jazzers figures. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, thank you everyone for watching this episode of Fig Hauls and this figure review. And I hope all of you have a great night or day. And uh, yeah, peace out.